Hi everyone, in today's video I will show you how to write blog content fast. I've been using these methods myself on my blogs to write content fast and the type of content that I will show you how to create is what you can see here on the screen on my Travel Croc website. You can see there are beautiful blog posts that I publish and I will show you exactly step by step how you can produce similar content as quickly as possible. If you are new to my channel, my name is Greg Kononenko. I run this channel where I upload regular videos on blogging, traffic and affiliate marketing. So hit that subscribe button just below this video and enable all notifications to never miss my future videos. Let's get into it. One of the most popular types of content on the internet these days is a list type content. So they have many names, for example, listicles or list style articles, but they do extremely well. Google loves them. YouTube even loves them. So on YouTube videos that talk about six ways to do XYZ are very, very popular. And best of all, these kind of articles are actually really easy to produce on your blog and it doesn't take a long time to write this sort of content. So you will be able to see, for example, here where I've written an article about Rainbow Beach. I list a few different things and then I publish some images. I describe those images. So this is the type of content that actually tends to do extremely well. Here is another example from my caffeinated blogger blog. And you can see that this article is about free traffic sources. And once again, I've listed some traffic sources. Number one, Quora. Number two, Pinterest. Number three, SEO. Number four, Twitter, etc. So I've listed the different traffic sources. So this is also a list style article. The general structure of list style articles is simple. It's right here in front of you on the screen. So you have a heading, then you have a little bit of an introduction, and then you start going into the actual items and writing a description for each. And if you Google for uh, various search terms in almost every niche, there are lots of articles that do extremely well on the blogs. So here is an example here, best places to visit in Australia. Look at the type of articles that are ranking. So they're all list style articles, 14 top rated tourist attractions, 26 most wonderful places to visit, top 20 places. So they're all list style articles. And today I'm going to actually write an article in front of you in this list style post and I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Now you can use this technique in any niche. We're going to be using the travel niche as an example because I've got a website in the travel niche that are publicly disclosed, this travel croc website, but you can totally do this in literally any niche that you can possibly think of. So the first part of the process is research. For this video, let's use my website as an example and let's say that I want to create an article that is focused on the topic about best places to visit in Australia. First thing that I always do is I find some other articles and I try to learn as much as I can about this topic and see what kind of things the other blogs that are on page one have written about. So typically I will Google that term and then I will open up a few of these pages and I will essentially create my own outline based on the outlines of the other articles on page one. So here we can see that here are 14 top rated destinations. Okay, we've got Sydney Opera House, we've got Great Barrier Reef, we've got Uluru Kata, we've got Sydney Harbour Bridge, etc. Now, this article will list other uh, destinations. For example, they will list Margaret River, they will list Broome, Western Australia, and this will list other things once again. So, for example, they list Great Barrier Reef, okay, they list Melbourne, they list Kangaroo Island. Now, guys, this applies to any other niche. So, for example, if you were in the software niche, you would just do the exact same thing, but with software, let's say top 10. Uh, best editing software for videos or best video editing software. You can do the exact same thing in every niche. Then we'll actually start to make an outline. So I might uh, want to write an article about seven best places to visit in Australia. And then I will start to create an outline. I will say, okay, so I do want to talk about Sydney Harbour Bridge. So then I will just copy and paste this into here. And that will be sort of like my destination number one then I might get another couple of ideas from here. Let's say Bondi Beach. All right, and we will just copy that over here as well. And I will also say that all of this is as a reference. This is the link from which I can rewrite the information where I can sort of, you know, reuse the information. Now, I don't want to copy all 14 destinations from the same article that just kind of, I feel bad doing that. Um, and I will, of course, rewrite everything in my own words, but I like to spread it out between the different articles. So for example, here from this link, I might take Broom and I might take Byron Bay, New South Wales as well. Okay. So I will take those two from here and I will take this link and I will insert it so that I know that these two 
I can find the information over here. And I will just continue typically doing this until I've got as many of the list items as I want, whether it's 7, 17, 30, etc. You can also do it using a software called Growth Commander. It's uh, growthcommander.com and there is a 14 day free trial on this software. It's actually really good for creating content. Now I am a little bit biased because I, I co-developed this software with someone else, but this is really useful in terms of being able to produce content fast. So throughout this video, I'll sort of show you how to do it, um, the manual way and also how to do things using a Growth Commander. If you do want to check out Growth Commander, just head over to the website or you can click the link in the description below. There is a 14 day free trial, so you can check it out for free. So inside Growth Commander, there is a viral content finder feature. So if you do that, that will actually pull up the most viral articles, which is also good because viral content tends to do best on Google. Google looks at social engagement. And if you copy your content, if you model your content on other viral content, you're actually increasing your chances of getting uh, engagement on your post, which is one of the ranking factors as well. And now you can see that Growth Commander has pulled up articles about this, but also it has pulled up the viral search counts on the social media networks. So we can see how much engagement each of the posts get. So this is also a very good way of finding viral content and doing your research as well. All right, so now we move on to step two, which is the actual content creation. To create content fast, I'm gonna show you once again two ways how to do it using Growth Commander as well as how to do it outside Growth Commander. So within Growth Commander, I would go into Content Studio and then I would set up a new post here. So I would go add new post and then I would enter title, keywords and word count. So here I've entered the title, the keyword, and let's say I want, I'm going for a thousand word count or it can be 2000 and then entering the due date. That's just for internal calendar tracking within Growth Commander. It makes it a lot more organized to structure your content and stick to the schedule. So then I would go add new content. So now let's go back to our outline that we created. We have already got our title, seven best places to visit in Australia. We now need to write just a quick introduction and we can get inspiration for that quick introduction from any of the posts that we've uncovered. So you can just take a look at the sort of introduction style that they've written and then write your own similar to this one in your own words. Do not copy the content. I'm pretty sure that you already know that copying and pasting your content um, from another side onto your side Firstly, won't get you any traffic. Secondly, can land you into legal trouble because of plagiarism and stealing content. It's not cool, so do not do that. But you can just rewrite this in your own words. Instead of saying Australia is a land of dreams, you can say everyone wants to visit Australia because they've heard so much about it. So just reword it in your own words. Okay, so here I've just written a quick introduction into our article. Of course, you can write a longer one. You know, you can write a couple of hundred words, but just for the purposes of Okay, so here I've written a quick introduction into our post. Of course, you can write a longer introduction similar to what you can see here on the screen. You can write a couple of hundred words. However, for the purposes of saving time for this video, I've just written a couple of paragraphs. Now, this is according to our outline where we now go into our list. See how, for example, this content is structured. They've got the outline, then they go straight into one Sydney Opera House. Then they've got a photo and then they've got a little bit of information. And then they also have a link. Now, what this is called, guys, this is called curation. Okay. Um, curation has many types, but in essence, what curation is, is creating list style posts and then having a link at the bottom to where they can find more information. This link at the bottom can go to an external website. It can also go to more information within your website, but this is all keeping to the style of providing information in the list format. And that's what makes it so easy and so quick to be able to produce original high quality content that ranks well in search engines using this curation feature. All right, so we want to firstly write about Sydney Harbour Bridge, right? That's going to be our number one item. So let's get that set up. So we can say number one, Sydney Harbour Bridge. And we want to make this bold and we want to make this uh, heading two so that in the final published article, it stands out and nicely separates the format. Now, after this, as you will see on all the articles, there is um, an image, okay? And you can find these images on Pixabay. You can find these images on um, other royalty-free websites. If you are a Growth Commander user, then you can actually do this uh, using the curate images function. So just click this little curate button here and you can curate images, videos, articles, or content. So first of all, let's go curate images. So we want to find Sydney Harbour Bridge here. And 
Once we've done that, we can search images. That will pull up a completely royalty-free images that you can use. You don't have to credit anybody. These are royalty-free images, okay? So if you like this image here, for example, you can just click that and go next. And then you can size it to any size that you want. Like, let's say I want to maybe make it 1000 pixels wide. And then I want to click insert and that will go ahead and insert that image into the post for me. All right, so just like that, we've got a nice image inside our uh, blog post. Okay, uh, so as you can see, it's we're kind of sticking to a similar format. And then we want to write a little bit about Sydney Harbour Bridge. If you know nothing about Sydney Harbour Bridge, just take a look at the source and rewrite it once again in your own words. Okay, so I'm just unpausing the video. So let's see what we've got so far. We've got our subheading, we've got our photo, and and we've got this uh, text here that I have written. I've written a couple of paragraphs just based on what I have read here. I'm going to keep it short. Of course, you should expand a little bit more and uh, write perhaps a couple of hundred words on each of the list items that you're going to be listing in your article. But just like that, look at this. We've already got one of our things completed. So now let's go back to our outline and we next as we have planned in the earlier step, we now need to write about Bondi Beach. So we would just go ahead and do the same thing. So I've now put number two Bondi Beach. And once again, we can use the curate feature and we can go curate videos. And then let's just insert a video for something different. So we can go Bondi Beach and that will find YouTube videos. And uh, once again, YouTube videos are completely fine to use in your blog posts because uh, they are inserted using the official YouTube embed code. So you're not uh, misappropriating those videos. You're not pretending that they're your own or anything like that. But that adds very nice uh, features to your blog post for a couple of reasons. One, it creates media on your site and Google loves media rich blog posts. Secondly, it will actually increase the amount of time that visitors spend on your a blog post because a lot of them will watch that video and if they watch that video for one minute while it's embedded on your blog post that increases the overall amount of time that the person spends on your site and that's one of the important statistics that Google pays attention to and they will prioritize websites with higher uh, engagement rate and watch time and stay time as opposed to sites that only have text. So it's a very good idea to be inserting as many YouTube videos as possible into your blog post. So let's go back to this for Bondi Beach. You can see we actually now have a lot of videos here. You're free to use any of them. So for example, here, see this video here looks like a pretty good one for us to insert. It says the forever glorious Bondi. So this seems pretty cool. I want to insert this. Okay, you can preview this and just make sure that this video is um, congruent with what you're trying to make your blog post to be about. Now, if I want to insert it, I just need to flick this one like this. And then I click next and that will ask me for a size for my video. So I want to insert a nice big one. It will get scaled down anyway on your blog post if needed. And then uh, you can choose the embed options if you want as well to like show captions or allow full screen, etc. Now let's leave everything as default and then click insert here. And that will insert that video into the blog post for you. So once again, now all you need to do is just write a few paragraphs. So we now know that um, all we need to do is just go back to our original um, link where we stated in the outline that we're going to be uh, getting this information from here, okay? And then just rewrite some of these in your own words once again. Okay, so I finished writing the description for Bondi Beach for our entry number two in our blog post. So you can see now what we've got is uh, this subtext, Bondi Beach, then we've got the video, and then we've got a few paragraphs that I have written once again based on the description of uh, Bondi Beach that we've found here. So you do not need to be an expert to write this. All you need to do is just be good at research and being able to rewrite things in your own words. Now, of course, Growth Commander makes it very simple and easy for you to be able to create blog posts like this because it's got this built-in functionality to insert the images as well as to quickly insert the videos. But if you wanted to do this yourself in your own WordPress account, you can totally follow the exact same process. You would just probably want to go into pixabay.com and you would want to find some images here on Pixabay. These are royalty free images. And you can also do this yourself in YouTube. So if you go into YouTube, uh, you can find the uh, videos. So for example, we searched for Bondi Beach. Okay, so you could do the exact same thing, search for Bondi Beach. And then if you wanted to embed any of these, you would go, okay, that's the video actually that we looked at. So you would just open it up 
And then you can go here and choose this option here called share and then grab the embed code. And then you would need to insert this embed code into your blog post yourself manually. It's just, you know, several more clicks, but you can totally do this, uh, of course, without the software as well. All right, so if we go back to our original article outline, now this is done, we've written about Sydney Harbour Bridge, we've written about Bondi Beach. So then you would essentially need to do the exact same process for uh, Broome Western Australia and Byron Bay. And here is the reference where you would go to find information and then you would want to rewrite it once again in your own words. So if you are a Growth Commander user, what you can do is you can publish this article that you've created inside Growth Commander straight into your WordPress blog. So to do that, you would just connect your blog inside Growth Commander and then you would go into WordPress details and then your blog would be available for selection here and then you can publish it. You can of course also simply create it from scratch right inside your Travel Croc account, just do everything sort of manually the, the normal way and you would need to add the title and then just do all the steps that we've just done inside Growth Commander. You would follow them here inside a WordPress interface and you can go and find those images and you can find those uh, YouTube videos, etc., separately yourself manually as well. The third option is uh, you can inside Growth Commander, if you do create something, the third option is if you do create the content inside Growth Commander, you can then click this HTML option and that will actually allow you to copy and paste all of the uh, the whole content of the article straight into WordPress and then you would just go into text here and then you would go paste and that will create this same article inside your WordPress. Okay, just like this. That's another way to sort of quickly create that content. All right, so we've got our article ready to go. So let's just hit the publish button. Okay, so here is the preview of what the final post would look like once it's actually published on your site. So you can see seven best places to visit in Australia. And then we've got our introduction and then we've got our number one picture, a little bit of a description, number two, video, a little bit of a description, number three, video, a little bit of a description, and you can continue building your list style posts like this. You saw in front of your eyes how simple and easy it is to actually create content, high quality content that has very good potential to rank highly on Google uh, using this method. And in case you need to learn how to choose keywords so that your blog post can actually rank, or if you're completely unsure how to actually start a blog properly, I've got free videos covering all of that here on my channel. So see the links in the description below and I hope you enjoy all of the free videos that I provide on this channel. Let me know what you thought in the description. Tell me what you thought of this method of using curation and images and videos to quickly create content. I really hope that you found it useful. Here are also a couple of other videos that I think you should watch next. So click the links here at the top. I know you love those videos. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, then use this button here on the screen or just below to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.